This is video 31 in the uh, continuing uh, battles of Croix de Bras and Linné. Um, game wise, it is June 16th, 1815, 8 p.m. Uh, so far, our visibility is 20 hexes. I believe nightfall is 830. That's two more turns. Uh, so visibility should start decreasing next turn. Now, I'm going to do two things here. Shut off objectives because the game's objectives are not mine. Mine are much better and much more well thought out than the game designers. And I'm going to turn on hex elevation so I can see how high every hex is. Okay, now we're in French movement and I can't remember if I've moved. Whoops, let me get the jump map here. Let's go up to Quad Bra. I can't whoop, remember if I've moved there or not. Well, it looks like I did because I'm set up for a charge here against that artillery battery. Um, yeah, I guess I have. So, whoop, let's teleport over to Linné, or Ligné as I like to call it. Let me check this other force here okay we're good up there to prevent any movement to the north i don't think there's going to be any but uh doesn't hurt to be cautious now we've got artillery pointed in this direction i want to get these guys into place around here Oh, these guys moved already. Oh, how sad. I have the grandiose idea of a flanking operation there. Okay, this cavalry hasn't moved. Looks like this cavalry has. This infantry, but these infantry battalions haven't moved. Okay. We're going to bring those around here. If he wants to take a long shot at them, I guess that's okay. And then we're going to bring the cavalry in here and set up for a charge. Maybe not. He's pointed the wrong way. It's going to take one more turn to set up the cavalry for a charge. I'm too far away. That's okay. Another turn to bring up reinforcements. And we'll see what he's going to do. Okay. our cavalry down here. We'll see how concerned this group of infantry is here because oh, disordered. Let's get him out of the way. 
because I could cavalry charge these guys down here. Oh good, I can move them on top of the supply. Okay, that's good. That guy's disordered. These guys have moved. That guy hasn't. Oh, that guy's not disordered. Oh, he's surrounding this guy. That's why. That's why. What do we got here? A column, huh? Ooh, and it's not... Oh, it is disordered. The supply unit isn't disordered. Okay, in that case... I'll move him up here. Turn him one click to the right, left. Put him in line. I don't think I have enough movement to move in that hex. Nope, I don't. But I'll, I'll remove the supply unit next turn. In fact, I'll move both supply units. Then this... Well, I guess my own unit will be in the way. So I should move this guy now. Uh, he's foot artillery. Well... I'll limber this artillery up. And it took all of his movement. Oh, I, I, I love... I love uh, horse artillery. Okay, these guys, I believe, have just moved up here. Okay, so they're all moved. And these guys. And these guys. Everybody's moved. What did I have left to do? Apparently, not much. Looks like these guys down here. Yeah, okay. So let's start moving them up. Now, let's see. Where do these guys want to go? That's too far away. We'll go up here. These guys can really boogie down this road. some artillery. That'll be good. That's the best stuff to get. The second best is cavalry. I think I've got all my cavalry in one spot. Eleven more turns. Well, maybe not. We'll see. I hope they skip overnight. Night turns. That would be great. But if not, my grandiose plans won't uh, go to fruitation. Because there won't be enough time. If I had the morning of the following day, they could completely unfold in all their magnificence. Okay, let's get through these. 
these woods. Yeah, that's one of the weaknesses of AI, that it will fight their units to oblivion rather than withdraw them and wait for them to come out of disorder. I will withdraw my units for the most part, unless they need to hold some critical hex or maybe surround some guy and hold them in place. Uh, I'll withdraw my units and let them recover and then bring them up. But when you, when your policy is to let your units fight to the last man, there's nothing to recover. So they are eliminated forever and past a certain point, I think about 50%, they really can't fight back anymore. So they're just a, like a punching bag. And, uh, you know, you're, you're inflicting horrendous losses on them and taking virtually none yourself. So it's a win-win proposition. And that's why... This AI allows so many units to get surrounded. It doesn't care about forming a line. It just cares about fighting to the last man. And that's, that's a real weakness because you can surround them and then eliminate them at a lot less cost to yourself. And this AI is only set to 50%, but it is super aggressive. God knows what happens when you set it to 100%. But, I mean, it'll, if it gets a couple battalions, it'll just charge right in there, even against the whole French army. It's just kind of like nutty. Because all I do is surround it, bring up artillery, and beat it to death. But it means you really have to be on your toes playing AI because they're going to come for you. And sometimes. through the most ridiculous areas, you'll think, well, nobody's going to go through woods and across a stream, especially cavalry, to attack you. And sure enough, AI does. Their cavalry will all get disordered, and then they'll recover. They'll sit there for a while and recover it and come, come out of those woods. And you think, Jesus. So you've, you've always got to scout well and have units deployed so you can see well away from where your army is, which is what happens in real life. Scouting is very important, reconnaissance. Otherwise, you're going to be surprised. I mean, when I first started this game, I'd be going down a road with the whole French army and all of a sudden one British unit pops out and uh, occupies a road hex, forcing me to stop and uh, attack it to get it off there. And it was usually a skirmisher. 
and skirmishers are really hard to kill. The only way you can kill them is to completely surround them and to melee them. Because if you don't have them completely surrounded and there's one open hex, no matter what the odds of you mailing him are, um, he'll squeeze out into that one hex. So I don't like to uh, fight skirmishers unless I can surround them. And once you do, then they're dead. Usually the, the best is to have a, a one or two cavalry units in part of the surrounding force. And all you do is charge them, especially if it's Lancer, and they'll just vaporize. Okay. Oh, I think about another two turns, I'll be withdrawing the rear guard. Now we're going to put, let me check, nope, nothing's back there. Now we're going to put the rest of this old guard on the road. Didn't quite make it. Boy, this terrain really eats up the movement points. Okay, that's it for down here. Rear guard is still holding. I do believe that's it. So, Next turn it'll be melee. Well, I might as well, or next phase, might as well go to it. Oh no, defensive fire. How did I forget that? Two men, three men, fatigue, no effect. One man, no effect. Ooh, 114, 64, holy shit. Those, those are the line battalions. They're nothing to mess around with. Three men. Six men. Fifty-five. Well, that was the artillery. I expected that. Going up right in front of it. One man. Eight men. Eight men. Oh, he's hitting the square. Two men. Now we're at Lene. Five men. Three men. Seven. No effect. Five. One. No effect. Four. Thirty-nine. Ah, that's the artillery. Thirteen. That's the artillery. Okay, well, that wasn't bad for artillery. At least you didn't get like sixty. Okay, now I get offensive fire, huh? Let's go to rule. Quad a bra, see what we got going on here. Okay, these skirmishers push down into here and here. I guess I'll finally fire at them. I got skirmishers here I can shoot with. No effect, yeah, figures. One man, let's see what this square can do. Three men, uh, but I do have some artillery here, so. Let's see if that'll do something. Nine men. Eh. No, this cavalry unit here is disordered, so it's really not much of a threat, but I'm going to blast the hell out of it. We'll take the artillery battery under the square. 35 men, not bad. Oop, let's do the square. Six men, okay. And this other artillery battery. Bam, 22. 
Okay. Ooh, the big charge against this uh, artillery. Let's see. It took 50 casualties, so it better pay off. And I've got a charge here against this guy. All right. So we've got a skirmisher here. Line, column, column, line, ah, line, shit, disordered. Well, I got two units in column. I guess I can charge these guys. We'll see what happens. Meanwhile, well, that guy, uh, skirmisher, I'm not going to fire on him, but this guy I will fire on, definitely. Take this artillery battery and let's see what we can do. Bam, 107 men. Woo. That guy is strong. He's taken about 400 casualties. He's still standing upright. Woo, another 46. I blew him away, so the battalion is gone, which means I can melee him now. Okay, let's work this column over. 18 men. Good. 61. Excellent. Come on. What's the matter with you? Light up. 47. Very good. 32, and he's gone. Yay! All that's left is the leader. I'll take care of him next turn. So this uh, pocket is going to be shortly uh, eliminated. Let's take the jump map to uh, Lene here. Uh, I'm kind of getting pasted here. But that's what happens when you maneuver next to artillery. Looks like no firing here. What's this guy? Oh, he's a column. Well, I'm in line here, so I definitely will fire on him. Bang! Wait a minute. You cancel that. Is that a skirmisher? There's a column there. Oh, that's... Why do they say that? That's the supply. I thought that was a, a battalion in column. Of course, it's just a supply unit. I'm not even going to fire on that. It's a waste of time. I'll run out of ammo for nothing. Now, this guy, well, I can't fire at. This is another skirmisher. I'll have to melee him. And I believe I have two line units here I can fire at this cavalry with. 26 men. That's pretty good. And boom! 20 men and the cavalry unit's gone. A regiment. Poof. Uh, excellent. Okay. I'll ma oh, look. He throws out the supply units for combat units. That's okay. I'll take them out in the melee phase. Oh. These are two skirmishers. Well, that's a column. I believe that's it. So, and I believe the next turn is melee. Yay. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do here. Uh, I, I only have one unit, and I, I can't charge, so I'm going to get disordered for sure. And I may not disorder him. Okay, what do we got up here? We've got a supply unit and some skirmishers. I've got a line unit, a line unit. Ah, nuts. One of these is disordered. Which means if I use it, my other unit's going to get disordered for sure. Uh, I'm going to wait one more turn until I can block these two hexes. Then I'll attack them. And then I'll move this other line unit in there so I can attack him with two units. I can hold him with a disordered unit, but if I attack with that disordered unit, he's going to disorder the other unit automatically. 
as soon as they enter the hex. So, fool you on that. This guy on down here, I, I'll attack. Column, 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 column. Too disordered, but that's okay. So I'm going to take, let's see, 548 men. Okay, definitely melee with him. And crap, he's the only other one. Everybody else is disordered. Well, let's see what happens. I pushed him south. And I did not disorder myself. French got eight casualties, um, Prussians 13. So it was okay. I just pushed him closer down there, which is always good. I want to. You can see these guys are stacking up now, they're anticipating. Jesus. Two line units, two lion battalions in line, they're not disordered. Jeez, two more in line that's not disordered. Wow. Well, before I tackle these boys, and they're likely to do me some harm unless I get some cavalry down there. The only cavalry is around here, and I need to use it there for a moment or down here. Now I'm going to have to bring up some artillery to deal with these guys. They're pretty big. Ooh, two more columns. Two more battalions in column here. Thank God they're in column, so they really can't do much to this cavalry. If they, if one of them, or if they went into line, I'd have to move this cavalry because they'd start pounding the crap out of me. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to bring up this battery, this one, and this one. I'll get those started down here. And then, of course, this one down here. All righty. Well, let's see. We've got some supply units here. Automatic victory, and I capture that. Resolve. Boy, if he if he needs to resupply, if his units run out of ammo, he's cooked. Because uh, now there's another supply unit up here. I'm going to melee that one. Because I've got all of his logistics. He hardly has any supply units around. He's got a couple. He always uses them for defensive units. Uh, I'm, I've got supply coming out of my yin yang. Okay, I didn't want to do that one up there. There goes the furnace. Okay, let's uh, jump back to Quad Bra. I know I know I got a couple things going on there. First of all, oh, this guy that's charging is not disordered, and he took the brunt of that artillery fire. So now he's going to get his revenge. We'll throw this guy into the mix. Oh, total attacking force exceed, exceeds stacking limitations. Okay, so I can't attack him. Let's see what happens. Boom! One less artillery uh, uh, battery. Uh, French suffered seven casualties. Uh, the battery suffered 58 and went poof. So he's got no artillery at all on this wing. Okay, now we've got this uh, battalion in line. Let's see, we've got charging cavalry, not disordered. Good. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to try to throw in the other one. It'll probably be overstack. Yeah, exceeds limitations. Whoa! I suffered uh, 62 casualties, but he suffered 118. I, I probably got disordered. Oh, I can continue the attack. Now, <clears throat> we've got cavalry sometimes 
I haven't quite figured out in what circumstances. It doesn't always, it isn't always dependent on the odds. Maybe there's some sort of die roll. But you can continue the attack to anyone that's in front of you. And this guy is still in front of me. And it says right here, can continue. So I'm going to continue, even though I'm disordered. Boom, continue, no prediction, that's helpful. Resolve melee. Okay, this time I took it on the chin. I got 27 casualties, he's got 12. Well, it was worth a try. He's disordered, so am I. But that's, that's okay. I've got plenty more down here that can fill his shoes. Okay, that was pretty good. Well, these guys. Uh, I've got some business down here, I think. Oh, he's a column. Column, line, line line well I'm going to wait and shoot him up some more because the last thing I want is all of these guys to be disordered because the odds were not good enough and I've got the time to, to reduce him properly so I'll do that now this guy line Line, line, there's just two skirmishers there. Line, and they're lined down here, so I'm going to uh, step on this leader. Automatic victory, I capture him. I'm going to melee this guy here. how many units I can. Okay, it's allowing me to go two units, two battalions. Let's see, three, excellent. Let's, let's try for a fourth one. Nope, that was too much, but three is pretty good. Let's see what that results in. Bam, he disappears. I get one casualty. He gets 12, but he gets vaporized. Now this guy, column, line, uh, too early. Next turn I'll take him out. Okay, that wasn't bad. That phase was pretty good. Let's just check. So he's really got nothing in the center here. I mean, one battery, and it's limbered. It's all on this French left and the right. So it's like a big hole here. Eh, I'll have to give some thought to send some units up here, but for the moment, I think I'm going to defend. I've got artillery under here. So he's got a very narrow approach. If he comes out into this ground, I'll blast them to pieces. So it's kind of interesting. Instead of him defending like he historically did, now he's attacking and I'm the one defending. And I've got a very strong defensive position. He should not be attacking me. Or it, since it's artificial intelligence. It should not be attacking me because there's a very low probability he's going to get any kind of a breakthrough. I'm just too strong there. Meanwhile, I'll let him get softened up for a little more, and then I'll see what I want to do. Right now, I'm going to concentrate on turning his left flank to send more and more units up this road. And we'll 
we'll see how that works out because he's got oh he's got his skirmishers up here which is nothing then these guys are pretty much cut off all I have to do is move out here and I cut them off and then I can attack them with cavalry until they're all disordered okay so I think that's it just check what time is doing oh, I got this other program running okay we've got 35 minutes on the clock 45.55 okay alright I believe the next turn is his movement let me zoom out a little so I can get the big picture yep Allied movement. Let's see where he moves. Okay, we got this unit, which came out of the woods. That could be a very big mistake. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's a good move. He'll block the road. No, he won't block the road because he's a skirmisher. Okay. He's amazingly enough, he's closing in on me up here. Okay. Uh, I don't know. He's moving. That you, some units disappeared up here. I don't know what that means. He's moving away or what? Okay, we're on the Lene battlefield now. So now some more units are popping up here at Lene. These guys are continually stacking up, so he's getting ready to do a last stand here. Where is he moving now? Okay. Oh, he popped up here. Okay, that's a surprise. What's he doing over here? He's just shuffling around. Here, looks like he's withdrawing to the south. I don't know why. That's the only thing that's going to keep this pocket from closing around all these units. If he wants to shuffle away, that's okay with me. Now, let's see what's going to happen up here. That's the interesting part. So I'm getting ready to cut this road, which means the only way out for these units is going to be straight down, which is going to leave me with the road network. Okay, he must be doing some movement outside of my observation. I see the hourglass is still growing, so he's moving something. But I can't see it. Ah. We must have some stuff somewhere around here. Okay, now we're back at Quatre Bra. Now we're back. All right. Oh, nothing. So we left all this artillery pretty much the way it was. I mean, you'd think he'd sense impending doom. Calvary is coming here. He can see it because he's on high ground. He sees the cavalry here. I don't know if he knows his artillery is behind it. And he sees the units moving down here behind him. Very strange. But it's my defensive fire. So that's always fun. Let's go over here to Lene and see what we got. Or um, Quatre Bras and see what we got going on. Okay, skirmishers. So he's got a unit in column here, finally. Okay. Maybe he'll be attacking this outlying square. We will see. I'm all set for him.
Now, let's see. I can fire through these skirmishers, but I think this terrain may block me. Let us see if I can get a shot through there at the column. Yeah, it's blocked. That's the terrain doing the blocking, not the units. I hate this uh, cropland. Okay, I can't get a shot at him yet, so we'll take it out on the cavalry here. I don't know why he leaves his cavalry. Just he does that. The artificial intelligence does that a lot. They'll just leave the cavalry there, like it's a punching bag. Fine with me. Bang! Now it's not there. Fifteen minutes it disappeared. Now let's see if I can fire at this battery up here. Nope, blocked. Okay, that's Calvary here. I have nothing to fire at over there. Oh, yeah. Two men. I'm not even going to bother to fire down there. Not up here either. Okay, let's go to Lene. I don't like... Every once in a while I test it to see. What the hell happened there? That was interesting. I didn't see a power outage. Uh, maybe it was... Uh, you see my clock would start blinking over there. Well, strange. We are getting some strong winds. And I, I have had situations where the power appears to go out, but I guess it's so brief, everything recovers again. Except my clock always blinks, but oh, who knows. We're supposed to have like 50 mile an hour winds today. And the temperature is supposed to go up to 60. My furnace was turning on about an hour ago, so I think it was still in the 30s. So it's supposed... A typical Wisconsin spring shoots up from 30 to 60 in a couple hours. Then it'll go back down to 30 um, when it gets to be late afternoon. Okay, don't think I have any firing here. I've got this line unit under here, and see it says I can fire, even though I'm under another unit. And it's funny the way <laughs> the way this looks. The supply unit guy is out in the front line, and the line battalion is in the second line. I'd like to see that. So these uh, civilian contractors with the supply wagons are out in the first, out in front of the attacking line. Well, we got a big lot of units here. Let's fire at them. 20 men. They're respectable. This guy's in column. That might be all the firing for me. I don't think I have anything anywhere else. It's a disordered column. I don't know where the hell he popped up from. He must have been hiding in this low ground all this time. And all of a sudden he decided to pop up. Okay. I guess he means to block this crossroads. Um... And he may do that for a turn or two. Unless they send the guys down this road, which I may. Actually, yeah, they'll be able to involve themselves quicker in this battle. Okay, anyway, I guess that's it for the fire. So, uh, now we're allied offensive fire. Let's see what he does. Two men. 61, well, that's the 40. Okay, those are the line units. It's going to make me pay for taking out their artillery battery. Two, four, one, six, tolerable. Three, nine, seven, no effect. 
eight, one, one, three, three, four, two, no effect, 39, ah, that was artillery battery, okay, got me there, uh, melee, let's see, is he going to melee, oh yeah, I meleeed these two units, that's why he's, well, another reason he stacks up, he overran, uh, I don't know what he overran there, it was some small unit, would have been a supply unit, French movement. Okay, he finally got on this road. And he cat. Oh, that must have been a supply unit he overran and he captured it. So now it's French movement, huh? Yeah, so I'm going to have to. Yeah, he's a skirmisher. Now I'm going to have to f probably fight this guy. That's what he should have done in the first place. Well, let's go to Quad Bras first. I'm not going to get done with movement this turn, so we'll give it a start here. Okay, well, I'm going to stick with this. Well, maybe not. I can move one hex. He's got a column here, and he's got two more columns there, so he's probably going to melee me. So I'll just move a little closer this way. See how he likes that. All right, that's pretty good there, I think. Oh, we got an artillery. Got one battery unlimbered there, another there. This guy out here, I really got no threat on this flank, so I'm going to bring him back. Oh, we've got a limbered artillery battery here. Okay, let's bring this out here. And I disordered the line unit. Ah, I should have remembered to put him in column. Um, See if I have enough movement points to move him out. Yep, good. So I'll put this other guy up there. And this disordered guy can try to recover. Meanwhile, I'll bring up another unit in column. So I'll set up a battery here. So whoever, if he decides to move in this hex behind me, I'll obliterate him. Meanwhile, I'll move this horse battery up. That's as far as I can go. This guy's limbered. All right. This guy's disordered. Well, for the heck of it. I'm going to charge these two skirmishers to disorder them. We've got two more here. We've got a heavy uh, cavalry regiment. I'm going to charge them. 
I want to disorder these guys so they can't move around because they're going to be cutting loose all over the place. So when I, when I disorder them, even if I disorder myself, it's going to be worth it to disorder them because I'll disorder four of them and that'll be the end of their mobility. Okay. Now these guys have stacked up. I guess they figure if they do that, my cavalry won't have enough odds to do them that much harm. But the joke's on them because I'm not going to use my cavalry against them. I'm going to bring up artillery and use infantry against them. So we'll turn this guy, he's in line, and we'll close up to him because I want to start firing on him. Then, we'll move up here with cavalry. And I'll move my horse artillery up there to deploy them next turn. Oh, look at there. I was just moving them out of the way. And what do we see? Let me get some guys up on this ridge to charge him next turn. I wonder if we've got anybody around here. This routed guy. Can he move? The only reason I'm moving him is to watch this area to the rear. Oh, slippery bastard. Well, I'll leave this cavalry here in reserve. This guy finally recovered. Actually, just in a nick of time. Okay, so what do we got here? We want to move this guy into the fray. We'll see if we can put him in line. We can. Here we have some horse artillery. Well, well that's moved already, and so is this guy. Okay, well, that's my artillery to go against these guys. Move this cavalry up a little. Move the supply there. We don't want guys running out of ammo. And we'll move this guy up since now he finally recovered. It's okay. I don't know what to do with these guys. Oh, they're char this, these guys are charging, so they're good. Okay, now what the hell happened to this guy? He ducked in somewhere. Uh, probably went up here somewhere. So I can't see him. He's probably along this road. Well, let's find out. Ding, ding. Yeah, he's down there. Okay. He's a skirmisher, so... I don't have to pay any attention to him. That's the nice part. He doesn't have any zones of control. He should have stepped on that road. But since he didn't, I'm just going to move past him. Maybe I'll deal with him and some of these units in the rear. I'll get all this stuff past him so he's not going to interfere. Uh, it's artillery. Can I get past him? Probably not. I don't want to take that road next to him with the artillery. He's liable to get tempted to attack me. So I'll go up here. I 
I gotta go on this stupid path. That's what slows me down. Now, let's see. This guy will move. Damn skirmisher. Oh, he's going to screw me up. He's too far. I should have never put him on the road. He's too far away from his parent unit, so he won't move. Lazy bum. Well, let's put him there so we'll prevent him from moving in this direction. That's a disordered unit anyway. Just have to move these guys cross country. Well, that's not too bad. This guy's disordered. Well, then I can move over that guy. I lose some movement, but that's not too bad. Oh, this cavalry recovered itself, so it can head out. Let's see, nope, this guy recovered itself. Oh, that was pretty quick. We're all disordered last turn. These two guys are still disordered. Okay, this routed guy, oh, he's a skirmisher. He's never going to recover. And I got two guys in column here. Okay, they'll stay in reserve. This guy is recovered. Well, how nice. Okay, I'll bring him up here. Okay. I guess I can go down here. I don't know what's better. These are both paths, but this is a lot longer, so I guess I'll go up here and go across. So all these guys down here are now going to head across to the flank. We'll see how he likes that. Oh, what did I do? Cross eyes. Went down the wrong way. This guy's in line. Well, it would have been nice if I noticed that. Okay, two mistakes. Now. This guy's in column, so I'm going to put him in line. This guy's in line. This guy's in line. This guy's in column. We'll put him in line. So we'll, we'll blast this. This guy's a disordered column, so I'll just point him in the right direction. So we'll blast him next turn. This artillery is limbered. So he'll take off. I think he will. The cavalry is disordered. This guy's in column. Good. He'll make for the road. Now. And we'll point him down. That guy's in column. This guy's in column. We've got to point him in the right direction. Okay. This guy's in line, but he's disordered. Well, we'll point him there anyway. This guy's in line. We'll put him in column. So we're going to melee this guy. 
and I can he doesn't have any zones so I don't have to worry about that we'll move this guy up here and I'll take the guy under the battery and move him up there Let's see if I can put him in column. I can. This guy up here, I don't think he has enough movement, but let me try. Yeah. It's okay. This guy will get meleeed to oblivion next turn. Meanwhile, let's unlimber this guy up. Oh, I think we're pretty much done. I'm going to finish out the movement. These three guys are in line, so I'm going to put them in column. And start moving them out. Now my right flank is going to get significantly strengthened. This guy's in line, so I'll put him in column. Get him on the road. This guy's in line. He goes to column. This guy's in line. We put him in column. Head for the road. This guy's in line. We put him in column. Everybody's going to take to the road. Okay. Put him in column. This guy's Disordered, 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 disordered. Okay, well, one day they'll come out of disorder and then I'll be able to move them. Okay, I do believe that will be the turn. I'm not going to do the next cycle. Because... Uh, It'll be allied defensive fire, and then they'll start firing. So I'll save this and end the turn. And Monday, we'll continue with the next turn.